These days, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner is almost enjoying himself. Well, you've had quite a wild ride as Secretary of the Treasury. It comes with a job. It's like the nature of this job. He can laugh about it now, but Geithner's job from day one was as daunting as that faced by any of his predecessors. An economy in crisis, the financial system on the verge of collapse, a new president and his team trying to calm rattled markets and an anxious nation. This is a challenge more complex than any challenge our financial system has faced. But in those tumultuous early days, there were doubts about whether Geithner, at 47, one of the youngest Treasury Secretaries in history, was up to the job. I think uh, the Treasury Secretary is on thin ice. New rule, if President Obama really wants to be transparent and level with the American people, he must replace Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner with an actual deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> did you ever have any doubts, though? Did you, did you ever say to the president or his people, you know what, maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm not the right guy here. No, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't have any doubts about that. I think, the, you know, our job was to just focus on trying to figure out what the right thing to do was and put it in place. And I think, you know, people want to see, uh, they want to see the judgments you make. They want to see you act. Geithner survived and thrived because he had the confidence of the one guy who counts, the president. I have complete confidence uh, in Tim Geithner and my entire economic team. How much access do you have to President Obama? I see the president a lot. Uh, I go over once early in the morning for a senior staff meeting, and then I go back a little later for his uh, daily briefing on the economy, which Larry Summers and I do with the rest of the economic team every day, half an hour, 45 minutes. And then, um, and then we have a lot of times working through the broader economic financial issues with him. And in the tough early days of your tenure, when people were calling for your head, what did the president tell you? The president was totally supportive. He said, you stick with it, focus on doing the right thing. That's it? Yeah, yeah, totally supportive. We caught up with the Treasury Secretary this morning as he was headed to the White House. The president was unveiling his administration's proposals for a sweeping overhaul of how the whole financial system is regulated, from giant banks to small mortgage lenders. So that's our goal to restore markets in which we reward hard work and responsibility and innovation, not recklessness and greed. Geithner was one of the plan's architects. The basic idea is more regulation, including new powers for the Federal Reserve over financial institutions deemed too big to fail, like Citigroup or insurance giant AIG. A new Consumer Financial Protection Agency and new powers to manage the next financial crisis. So with this proposal, can you assure the American people that there will not be that kind of financial collapse, catastrophe again? I think if we legislate these reforms and we put these proposals in place and we get other countries to come with us, we think we have a very good shot of making sure that nothing this severe happens again. Why? What in this package today would have prevented what happened last fall? The first is we need to give consumers better protections against the risk they get taken advantage of, sold products they don't understand, take on too much debt, debt they can't afford. That is critical. That's the first most important thing. The second is to make sure that banks can't take on this much risk and other institutions can't take on risk that threatens the basic fabric of the economy. That's the basic plan, but already there are critics, Republicans and Democrats, who argue that it gives too much power to the government, especially the Federal Reserve. There's an old African proverb that says, when elephants dance, the grass gets trampled. Well, Mr. President, we've got a trampled grass problem at this point. And I don't think we can solve it with bigger elephants, whether those bigger elephants are regulators or institutions. There are those who say that what you've done is just layer on more bureaucracy. You've got a new consumer agency. You've got, you got a new council. You've got just more layers of bureaucracy in an already complex financial regulation system. Look, we've got to be clear about this. There were systematic failures in the basic protections our system is supposed to provide, and that's going to require stronger enforcement and better tools. And there's no way to fix these vulnerabilities without having more authority, more accountability. Now, one of the things you're already hearing uh, is that in the effort to protect the system, you're stifling it. Too much new regulation, you'll 
crushed the life out of the financial system. We've got to get the balance right. I don't think we had it right. Striking that balance is going to be tough for the Treasury Secretary, but Geithner brings a unique depth down. of experience yeah, at the department down. and around the world to this job. That was, that was the office room I had my last job, Treasury. Here. First, first office right above there. So you're home. <laughs> it's it's sort, home, dear. Sort of, yeah. Huh. <laughs> He's always been something of a whiz kid. Growing up, he spent years, like President Obama, overseas. Here he is in China, looking like, well, a whiz kid. And in 1988, still in his 20s, he landed here. In some ways, I grew up in this building. You grew uh, up in this building? My second, my second job out of graduate school is working here as a civil servant in the Treasury. I worked here for 12 years for five secretaries. Geithner is married to his college sweetheart, but his family still lives in New York. Hardest thing is being away from my family, not seeing my family, because they live in New York still. Right, yeah. right. So you're, are you commuting? Yeah, I commute. Yeah. They're moving down in the summer. But uh, for this, I got kids in school, so that's the thing. You know, your, your spouse, your kids, they lose, they kind of lose their father or husband. And what made it tougher were those harrowing early days of the crisis. Were there times during those weeks and months that you thought this whole thing could go down? The Absolutely. whole financial system could collapse? Absolutely. I think we did. We were really at the edge of the abyss. And for the first time in really uh, almost a century, we face the prospect of a catastrophic failure of our financial system. Are we out of the woods? We are in a better position than we were um, three, six, nine months ago. Better, yes. I, I think we are in a be much better position um, to get through this. But if the worst has been averted, if there are still massive problems, like those gigantic deficits the country is running and the specter of inflation. Federal government's debt is going to 70 percent the gross domestic product. Uh, are you concerned about the inflationary pressures that that means? Is the country going to see raging inflation? We are not going to have uh, high inflation in the United States. How can you say that? Because we have an independent Federal Reserve whose core responsibility is to keep inflation low and stable over time. Now, we are going to have to work with Congress to bring those deficits down over time to a sustainable level as soon as we get through the crisis. It was a crisis caused in large part by the excesses of Wall Street. And there are many who are skeptical that Tim Geithner, who spent so many years in the system, can really rein it in. But he sure talks tough. I do think there was a period of stunningly bad judgments by leaders of our financial systems, by their boards of directors. And I think that made the crisis worse. And I think that helped precipitate a big loss of confidence and trust in the financial system as a whole. So I think we've got a ways to go to rebuild that trust and confidence.